Hi there, and welcome to another one of our Whitefish Wednesday videos. Um, my name is Chris Orange, I'm the marketing director over here, and uh, today we're going to have a quick discussion about sitemaps and robots txt files. Um, this is something, of course, because it's just come up in conversation just recently, uh, and I, I'm seeing more and more of it happen. Yet yeah, it's such a basic uh, SEO thing to do. Uh, I really just want to touch base on it. So this is going to be a short, quick, brief video um, all about uh, sitemaps and robots txt files. Right. So let's just have a quick discussion about what sitemaps are. Sitemaps are basically roadmaps for Google, like a set of directions. So when someone comes onto your website, or rather when a, a spider crawler comes onto your website, they can go to the sitemap file and have a directory of where all your pages are uh, and in what type of hierarchical order uh, they'll be in as well. Um, Sitemaps, they get uploaded into your Google Search Console or Google Webmaster Tools, as some you know, older folks might know them as. Uh, it's very, very simple. You should be having an XML uh, sitemap, uh, which you're then going to want to submit to Google. Google will find your pages anyway, but by doing so, you're offering them a much easier alternative by giving them roadmap and directions on where to go. So, you know, it's like ask, if someone's asking for directions, you know, give them the, the directions. It's, it's, it's really quite simple. Uh, if you're using something such as uh, a WordPress design, and um, I'd, I'd recommend that you upload something called Yoast, uh, Y-O-A-S-T, Yoast SEO, which is probably quite familiar for, for many, many people. Um, the Yoast plugin is exceptionally good. One of the key things that it will allow you to do is uh, to upload a, or rather to create a sitemap, an XML sitemap ready to go. Um, there are actually a number of different types of sitemaps, which... Um, are not so much available, but that you, that you submit, whether it be a post, whether it be imagery, whether it be video, like we're doing now, uh, and so on and so forth. Yoast will handle all of that for you straight away if you're using a WordPress plugin. If you're not using WordPress, then maybe have a chat with your web developer and see how they're going to go ahead and run a, a, a quick crawl of your website to create a, an XML sitemap. And also have a look and see the frequency of that XML sitemap and how often it's going to be updated. Once you have that, it will be something like www.yourdomain.com forward slash sitemap.xml. So you're going to take that sitemap.xml, you're going to upload it to Google um, Search Console, and uh, that's it, away it goes. Give it a quick test. There is a facility to go ahead and test uh, your sitemap first to make sure it's all working fine. Give it a quick test. And away it goes. Now, just briefly, what I'm just talking about sitemaps, there are two different types of sitemaps. The XML sitemap is, 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 is more of a sitemap that you would give for the likes of Google or, or Yahoo, Bing, whoever it might be, who's doing the crawling and searching for your site. Another type of sitemap is an HTML sitemap. Now, don't get the two confused. Um, the HTML sitemap is more for real kind of customer, real human engagement. An HTML sitemap is very, very similar. It's still a set of directions. It's like a, a, the indices or the contents of uh, a reading book or, 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 or a textbook. You're going to place that in somewhere. So if someone here needs to find a particular page for easy navigation on your website, a real human being can do that. The two are slightly different. An HTML sitemap is designed more for um, engagement factors. Uh, an XML sitemap is uh, is there more as directional use for um, for Google and the likes of other search engines. Whilst we're on the topic, the other thing that we want to have a look at here is your robots file. Okay, so your robots file or robots text file, uh, robots.txt, similar type of thing, www.yourdomain.com forward slash robots.txt. Basically, this is a, a, a way that you're instructing the different types of robots or, or, or spiders or crawlers that come to your website to um, navigate them to areas that you'd want them to index and also detract them from areas that you don't want them to index. So for example, let's say you have um, a, a, a login area of your website. So again, WordPress might be the wp-admin area of your website. Let's say you don't want them to touch that area, or rather you wouldn't want uh, search engine crawlers to crawl the, the back end of your website. So you're going to disallow that. Whilst you allow all your other pages, you're going to want to disallow robots from, um, uh, from indexing those pages. Why? Because they're private. 
Likewise as well, if you say had some sort of membership club or if you're a solicitor, conveyancer or uh, say an, arch uh, an accountant, sorry, and you've got a client portal uh, where your clients can log in to access their, their personal files and the status of their conveyancing, whatever it might be, again, you might want to go ahead and uh, disallow those types of pages. Um, again, there's, I haven't got any screenshots here for you at the moment, so I'm terribly sorry. Uh, this was meant to be just a, a short, sharp and brief video. But realistically, what you, what you want to do is you want to disallow those kind of pages. Um, the robots TXT file is not a hard and fast rule. Google and other search engines do not have to abide by them. It's more the case of it's a set of uh, guidelines or rather a request, a polite request that you're saying to Google, hi, please don't go ahead and search on these particular pages. Please do go ahead and search on these other pages instead. Uh, anyway, look, that's just a quick, short, sharp video here. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to have quite a few more um, for what we call Whitefish Wednesdays, where we're going to offer a little bit more advice. Behind me, we're actually going to have the whiteboard soon, and we're actually going to go and get down to more nitty-gritty kind of uh, 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 looks and feels of different things. For now, if you ever want to get hold of us, please contact me. My name is Chris, or oh, Chris Surridge for the full, and uh, I'm over at Whitefish Marketing. I'm the director here over at Whitefish Marketing. Uh, have a look at whitefishmarketing.co.uk. We're a specialist SEO and online marketing agency and web development. Give us a shout, and hopefully speak to you soon. All the best.